day. Another day in the life of the Echo Sport. I'm your host, Carlton Dowdell. Been driving this Echo Sport for a couple of days now. If I can get the light right on this thing. Seems like I'm up the pump. Hey, what about that? Maybe I'm just a little dark. Maybe that's what it is. Yep. Ooh, that was close. Got to stay focused on the road, ladies and gentlemen. A nice swipe of mailbox. Of course, I did swipe a mailbox in this one. Ah, uh, these gonna be. Been driving this Echo Sport probably about two weeks now. You know what? It's not a bad little ride. Definitely has the power. I got room. I don't know if you can see what I got back there. I'm now going to take a load of boxes to the recycling center because uh, being an Echo Sport and saving this kind of gas kind of makes you more environmentally conscious. If you know what I mean. So, with that in mind, uh, with you know, getting all these packages and stuff, I don't like to burn the boxes. I don't like to throw the boxes away. So what I do is I take them to our local recycling center and I recycle those boxes. I mean, with a small footprint like this, I don't carry as much stuff. Gosh. Y'all can barely see me. Maybe I could do this in the, in the evening. Because it looks like I'm going to be having this issue. Let's see if I can pull this over. Sunshade. That help been. Just think the lighting in this thing just been different all day long. Okay. The sunshade kind of did, did a little number on it. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Like I said, I'm environmentally conscious driving this Echo Sport. Uh, we got the room in it to carry. Not a ton of stuff, but enough stuff. I've been surprised about the room that it has in it. And also, I think, like I said, driving a vehicle is kind of giving me a little bit of wisdom. I call it Echo Sport Wisdom. And with that Echo Sport Wisdom, what I've been, I think it means is, is that now I'm looking at life through a brand new windshield. A cleaner windshield and through that cleaner windshield I'm able to see things that I've never seen before that life is how would you say it not as bad as you make it out to be you know a lot of times you'll find certain situations just small situations setbacks unrealized expectations but with planning as long as you execute your plan um, to the fullest and then even if you don't the next day just get back at it and try to execute that plan again but the key thing is you got to keep moving you got to keep moving you got to start moving my wife was watching a, a commercial the other day and I think it was by Bowflex or something like that and it said something to the fact hey I know what's wrong with your exercise plan you don't have one or you're not doing it so you got to start moving you just move in a direction start doing some things and then it's easier to make corrections while you're moving than when you're not moving because then they're all assumptions and then just like one of my other books that I've normally been listening to in the Echo Sport is the Four Agreements. And one of those Four Agreements was don't make assumptions. Uh, it was more of having the courage to ask questions. I remember uh, one time talking to a client of mine and her daughter was sitting right next to me. She was probably about 12 or 13 and I was telling her about the Four Agreements. And I said, hey look, don't ask questions. You know, I said, you should ask questions. That's what I said. So you should ask questions. And then the daughter said, oh, no, Ma. Everybody knows that you don't ask questions. So it's already ingrained in her at an early age that 
which you shouldn't rock the boat or ask a, a ton of questions. I'm gonna get this thing situated here pretty soon. Got a bunch of traffic going on. But you gotta have that courage to ask questions. Uh, I know sometimes uh, we look at how we raise our kids. When they ask a ton of questions, we kind of domesticate them and get that question asking out of them. And then it affects us later on in life, especially uh, when it comes to clarification and misunderstandings. So we got to ask those questions and have the courage to ask those questions. Because sometimes it may be a boss, it may be a co-worker, it may be... You know, a close family member, and the reason we don't ask those questions is because of fear. Fear of what the answer may or may not be, whether it's in our favor or not in our favor. And that fear is crippling, you know. Our brains are going to make up the answers uh, automatically. They're going to make the answers up. So, And then we go back and we believe in the false assumptions so there you have it i mean uh that's part of the one of the four agreements is to ask those questions i know as far as with clients sometimes you don't want to give your hand away by asking a question uh, i think the biggest fear is being liked i mean if somebody tells you something and then you go back and you say man i didn't hear what they said i don't want to go back and ask them again because it's going to make me look like i'm stupid or going to make me look like I didn't care and then listen to them the first time or they're going to fuss at me or whatever it is. A lot of times, well, you know, I don't know what your situation is, but my situation is similar to that. The only times I do not ask the right questions. And I'm a job, my job is asking a lot of questions because a lot of times people don't know what they're saying so you have to clarify, hey, this is what I what you said, is this what you meant? And there's a lot of times, it, hey, hey, I didn't really mean that, you know? Is that the way that came off? Yeah, that's the way that came off. So everybody wins when we ask questions and get clarification, the clarity in speech. But uh, like I say, this is Echo Sport Wisdom. And uh, another day in the life of driving the Echo Sport. So I'll tune back in with you. I'm on my way to work right now. Uh, coming up to a little traffic light right here. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, like I said, I'll check back in with you. Uh, have more videos on the way. Sooner or later, I'm going to get a little like button down here at the bottom. Go ahead and punch it. Right there, right there, wherever you want to put it at. All right.